at one of the foremost Western medical systems in the world. What are some of the things, either from the East or from the yogic sciences, that our young doctors can think about as they get trained at Stanford University in the West? Especially in a medical school, I would want this to come, that it's not about studying somebody else of heart, liver, kidney. Yes, that's important, that's one aspect of it, but to know this internally. It's most important. This has to become a part of medical systems on the planet. Otherwise, we will have medicine growing, we will not have health flourishing on the planet. Today they tell me, I don't know, you must tell me the statistics. Somebody told me the food industry on the planet is 7.6 trillion dollars. The pharmaceutical and healthcare industry on the planet is 7.2 trillion dollars. They say by the end of 2017, the healthcare industry is going to become larger than the food industry. That means we are consuming more medicine than food. That doesn't speak well of us as healthy people, isn't it? We need to create a culture of health. Instead of investing in just healthcare, we must talk about how to generate health in a society, a culture of health. So right from our childhood, if we are taught how to be, how to keep the body, how to keep the mind, how to manage these things, then we know how to fix these things and tools above all. Like today you have phenomenal tools for external medicine, similarly inner dimensions there are phenomenal tools, but there is no transmission of that in a big way. What we're talking about in engineering is just that. We would like to, particularly if you're becoming a doctor and if you're telling me you're going to be in some way making a difference in somebody's life, we will offer this to you wherever you want, okay? One most important thing the doctors should do is, they must be a joyful lot. If you walk into the room, it must be light and joy for the patient. They must forget their ailment. <laughs> this is very important that you exude a certain energy which is life, this is… is partial death. You should not go around with grave faces, grave is a bad thing. It will come anyway, but it's a bad thing right now. <laughs> Anything grave is not good, you don't have to carry it on your face <laughs> It's very, very important, the doctors of the future must be a joyful lot, must exude life energy in a huge way. Of course, the knowledge part of it, your college, your university is teaching it, that is important. But what's your problem in being joyful? If you're joyful, will you lose your knowledge, I'm asking? No. Right now, people have become grave. When a grave doctor walks into a patient's room, it's a threat. Grave is one thing you should not show somebody who's not well right now, isn't it? <laughs>